Okay, Paul Akers here, and this is Lean Travel and How I Pack. So it doesn't matter whether or not I'm going on a five-day trip or a six-week trip or an eight-week trip. I pack all the same. Never have anything that I check. I have a backpack and I have one carry-on suitcase. I'm gonna show you how I pack right now. I'm gonna do a time lapse and we're also gonna time how long it takes me to get ready for a trip. So it's 1.11 right now on my watch and then we will see just how long it takes me to pack because even the packing process should be simple, fast, and easy. I'm gonna start with the shoes and I'm gonna literally work up and think about everything that way. Okay, so here we go. So as I say in all my books, everything's a process. So I think of everything as a process and then refine it. So I start with my shoes, then my socks, then my running clothes, then my pants, then my shirts, and then I pack everything up. You see, it's very, very simple. I fold everything very carefully. I've learned this principle from the life-changing magic of tidying up. This is a fantastic book that changed my life. I take very good care of my clothes and I only have the best of everything regarding my clothes. So there you go. That's how fast I pack. Okay. So the watch says 132, so 111, 20 minutes. Let's take a look at what I've done. I've got one carry-on suitcase right here. I've laid out everything I need. I've done my shoes, as you see. These are my dress shoes that I can wear. These are my running shoes. These are my shorts to work out inside, a long pair of running pants, and the socks that I use when I work out right there. I tend to think in terms of three. I don't want to really get anything more than three of one thing. Otherwise, it just becomes ridiculous. So I have three pairs of shoes. I have tennis shoes, dress shoes, and uh, flip-flops if I go to a beach environment. In this case, I probably will. I have only three pairs of thin white socks, which are great for most of the time. Then I have a pair of dark blue socks if I have to go to a more formal event, and a tan pair to go with my tan pants, and a super thick thermal pair, because I'm going to Kazakhstan, it's gonna be minus 40 there. So I have those to put on every day, just as insulation. I have a special hiking hat that I always take with me. It's really nice, it's waterproof. I can wear it in the water and that's all great. I've got my scarf, my gloves, and a hat right here, a really lightweight hat. And then this is my sleeping stuff and I've got a thing of antibiotics that I keep with me just in case. I've got three lightweight running shirts that are made out of the nylon material, one, two, three. I've got three heavier long sleeve, super insulated uh, pieces of gear because I'm in a uh, very cold climate. This is my only exception of three. I have five shirts, five dress shirts, because I'm assuming that I'm in an environment where I'm gonna be in front of people for five consecutive days. I don't wanna wear the same shirt over in those five days, and usually that's all I need. So I just have five shirts. It's the only thing I run my exception on. I've got a bathing suit. Yes, I've got a Speedo in the other one because when I'm in a hot climate, I like to tan all the way. Because I have a body, I can wear a Speedo. Most people don't. I used to never be able to do that, but now I can. And then I've got three pairs of underwear. That's it. And they're very lightweight and they dry very quick. And I've got three pairs of pants. So on to this subject. i got a nice pair of jeans, a nice pair of black, really high-end uh, Tommy Bahama pants, and high-end Tommy Bahama uh, khakis. So these work in both dress and casual environment, and these get through just fine for most everything else. That's basically all I have for my trip, and I keep it that simple, and then I have my backpack. Now I'm gonna pack everything up, and we'll take a look what that looks like. Okay, time to pack it up. Some of you are asking, why are you always wearing a hat and a coat in your house? Well, because I'm cold all the time, because I'm really thin, and that's the only disadvantage I can think of to being in good shape. But I'm very careful to fold everything up, and I put it in my suitcase very neatly, and then I zip it all up, and then I bring down the expansion, and I'm done. Okay, so that whole thing took me about 30 minutes. That's it, it was very, very fast. And you see, I've got my one travel suitcase, very small, and I can carry that on any plane, so there's no problem there. I packed about five days in advance. I'm leaving next Friday, next Thursday, actually. Today's Sunday, I always pack in advance because number one is I don't want any pressure on me during the week. Oh, I've gotta pack, gotta think about that. That's over with, and you saw in 30 minutes, I basically accomplished the whole thing. Plus, I can think about anything I might have forgot. I packed from the bottom up. I started with my shoes, my socks, my underwear, my pants, my shirts, and any other little specialty things I needed, like a scarf, gloves, things like that. 
and then I have my small backpack that I'll put on top of this. So I'm not slepping all this stuff all over the airport. Everything's simple, carry on. I'm never waiting in a, in a conveyor line for with everybody else. I mean, I travel so light and so fast and so agile compared to most people because I've thought about this process. And you even saw in the time lapse where I screwed up a couple things because I disobeyed the process and the way I folded my clothes and everything else. So I find this very easy. I wash my own clothes in the sink in the actual hotel rooms. Sometimes I'll launder it. Sometimes it's so expensive, it's ridiculous. But other times when it's not expensive, I'll let somebody launder at the hotel. But if it is, I just figure out a way to do it myself. I dry my clothes over the lamp shades. Uh, there's all kinds of cool ways to solve this problem. A hair dryer, I can blow dry anything very quickly with a hair dryer. So, and I have clothes that dry pretty easily as well. So that's the process for lean packing, lean traveling, and that's how I do it. Thanks a lot. <laughs>